<laughs> While we were still sinners, you had looked afar. You looked into the future and said, you died for my sake and for those who are under the sound of my voice. And this morning we say thank you for that. Amen. Let's give the Lord some praise as you coming in. Thank you for tapping the screen. Thank you uh, for sharing. Um, this is uh, Rise and Shine Morning Devotional and Prayer. Um, for a minute before you about to start your day and for a minute before you about to get to work, um, just listen, put the sound up because we're going somewhere. Amen. Listen, we're going somewhere powerful. Um, yesterday, I talked about uh, confession, what the Lord says. Um, I must confess. You must confess. Um, I must confess. I, I must have a confession unto the Lord. Uh, let me show you this, how the Lord showed me to me. Um, in Romans 10, verse 9, it says that, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth uh -huh, the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart, that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Um, I remember I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, if I had to preach um, one scripture for the rest of my life, like, and I could not uh, use any other scripture, what, what would one would I be? And this is the one that he gave me. He said, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt believe in thy heart, that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shall be saved. This is the confession. And so this week, what I want you to know that um, it lies in your mouth. Your change, the, the, the life that you're looking for to in, be empowered to move forward. Uh, to build up and tear down those things in your life that doesn't be there. It's in the confession. Um, yesterday we spoke about that if you confess your faults, he's faithful and just to forgive you of, you of all your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Amen. That's 1 John 1 9. If I confess our sins, he is faithful and just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Um, understand when you make the right confession, it can lead unto blessings. But when you make the wrong confession, it can keep you stressed. It can keep you in a place of loneliness. It can keep you in a place of sickness. It can keep you in a place of the enemy having a head up on you. But as children of God, God has given us the authority and power, uh, not like any other animal or creature, but we have the ability to speak and that we can call those things that be not as though they were. Listen, um, yes, our Lord is the ultimate creator, but what he has did, gave us is the functioning of words and words create. Um, you know, they used to say stick and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Now we know words can hurt, words can cut, um, words can change the atmosphere. You, you know, you ever walk in someone's house of a marriage couple of people and you know there's been arguments there. You know that people have been saying some things in the atmosphere atmosphere is not good and no you've been in some places where you know there's been praise there's been worship there's been prayer and you enter into that room and that atmosphere has a peace about it and that's why it says i must confess what are you saying in this season that's going to change your season um the bible says and the bible declares in the proverbs of 1821 um let's go there real quick um proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 it says death and life okay death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruits thereof um what are you producing what are you loving are you loving death meaning you speak words of it's always something do you speak that oh my allergies are acting up. Um, are you making um, claims and confessions that those are your allergies? Are you making claims and confession um, of, of my sickness? And, and God says that thing does not belong to you, but death and life are in the power of your tongue. And if you want those things, you can receive those things and you have that what you are saying. You are having 
what you're saying. You're like, well, man of God, I don't mean it that way. But understand that in the spiritual realm, it doesn't see it that way. It doesn't see, oh, I'm just joking. Oh, I didn't really mean that. No, when you keep putting certain things in the atmosphere. And yes, I know, man of God, woman of God, you are frustrated. And you say, it always seems to be something. That's some of our favorite phrases. It always seems to be something. Oh, oh man, I, I'm dying. Huh? Don't speak those words. Death and life are in the power of your tongue. You must speak the right confession in order to change. Change the message that you are saying out of your mouth. It, it, it seems simplistic, um, but let me tell you that most of the times we miss it. We, we share and say things to each other, to each other in relationships and marriage. We speak um, deaf. Um, listen, I'm very guilty of that factor. I say things a lot of times. I'm not keeping my mouth guarded and I had to learn this this is one of the first passages that my mom gave me as a, a young adolescent she's like death and life are in the power of your tongue and listen I, I've, I've been there um, when you say words like divorce mm, I'm gonna help someone out right now because God wants me to um, and though you're just frustrating you mean it but you have put in words in the atmosphere and physically you may not be divorced but spiritually as you keep saying certain things the atmosphere upon your marriage changes the atmosphere upon your home changes because now that you may still be together but now it's like a separation it's a spiritual thing it's a spiritual separation because words have kept being said and spoken in the atmosphere but you need to uproot those words because the enemy desire and he's coming for the words he's coming for what you're saying and the things that's unseen are listening they're inquiring of your ear the angels harping unto the voice of the Lord so when you're speaking the wrong things they can't move when you're speaking deaf they can't move but I need someone this morning on this devotion say I'm going to speak life over that dead situation I'm going to speak life inside um, to my body I know um, it's feeling a certain way but we don't walk by sight we don't walk by our senses but we walk according to what the word says um, we don't be moved um, but we have to be as Abraham fully persuaded you say man of God but I feel the symptoms I feel you as they say I understand completely but what we have to do is say I'm going to be rooted and grounded on what God has said is my confession is my body is strong my confession is no sickness and disease can dwell in this temple because I belong to the almighty God my confession is I am the righteousness of Christ see I'm making the confession I must confess that I'm blessed and I'm not stressed I must confess I don't have any anxiety, but I have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. I must confess um, that I'm living the best life I ever had. I know right now it doesn't look that way. It doesn't feel that way. But now what I'm doing is shifting the atmosphere of not being complacent. I'm saying no longer I'm going to stay here. I know I thank the Lord for this job. I thank the Lord for this nine to five, but God is calling me to something more. Um, God is calling me to do something more, and I'm grateful for the time that I've been here, but my time is time to move forward. I'm saying it's time for me to go forward and I'm speaking it, Lord, that I'm walking into my destiny. I'm walking into my purpose. It all begins. I must confess that which I desire to do. I uplift the things, um, the strongholds. Um, you see certain things and patterns that's been in your family make the confession not what you see but what you want and then what is it the bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of god abram was changed to abraham because he had to get a new renewed mind um, to be the father of many nations um, that's why he became fully persuaded because all he kept hearing the father of many nations all sarah kept hearing you're the woman um, you're going to be a mother of many nations they kept hearing and hearing and hearing and some of us uh, let me show you something um, I'll give you a quick story this man he was 40 I think he died at the age of 40 um, the, the 
confession that he kept saying is, I'm not going to make it past 40. But he was saying it almost jokingly. You know, he wasn't being guarded of his mouth. And then when one of the prophets of God went to go pray for him, the Lord says his case has been already settled. And the man of God said, why, Lord? He says, because he has chosen this direction. He's chosen this for his life. Then later on, the man of God went to the brother and he said, you know, my brother always used to say that he's not going to make it past 40. And then it hit him. The reason why even the prayers that the man of God was going forth and trying to say, he could not get him to come back because he already settled it in heaven. And I'm saying, make sure that you're not continuing on the path of, of, of bringing premature death to your life, bringing sickness, bringing poverty, bringing anxiety and stress. No, we don't want that. We want to speak life. We want to speak purpose. We want to speak the goodness of the Lord. We want to speak the favor of God. We want to speak the blessings of the Lord upon our life. I must confess my life is no longer a mess. I must confess um, now I'm no longer troubled by my old past sins. As I said, he's faithful and just the cleanses from our sins and cleanses from all unrighteousness. See, when we made that confession yesterday, what we were doing was shifting the atmosphere. What we were doing was repenting back to the Lord that that no longer any stronghold can be upon us. No longer can anything hold us back from going forth and doing what we need to do. Now listen, you know, you may be saying right now, man of God, I realize I've, I've said some words and I've been saying words, I've been claiming words, um, but it's not too late because you're hearing me right now that I must confess the things that I want to see shift in my life. And it starts with that. Um, people may say, well, it's not that easy. But listen, uh, the worlds were framed by the word of God. And if you are a believer, if you know um, everything starts, as I said, even with the passage, the salvation, um, the one thing that saved you from death in the grave, the one thing that brought us back into alignment um, with the Father was with a confession. Um, it was no works that we can do. It wasn't um, we you know, trying to do good, trying to be good. No, our righteousness is in believing in the one Jesus Christ. And what he says, if you confess, if you speak and believe in your heart, the reason why I say it has to be a continued thing, because we have to get the head out the way and we have to allow the heart and speak from the heart. You know, the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. You know, when that person's in that moment, um, those who have ever drunk alcohol, you know, and their mouth gets loose and they start telling the truth. Oh, that's how you really feel about me. Okay, now I hear. See, now the heart is really speaking. It's not covered because the emotions have been uh, moved. It's been altered by that alcohol. But I want you to get drunk in the spirit. I want you to have the Holy Spirit leading and guiding and speaking through you. Speaking the words of truth, not the words of lies, uh, not the lies of the enemy who is saying that you're not going to make it, um, who's saying that um, I'm going to give up, of saying that uh, I don't want to live anymore. No, we don't speak those words. We speak life. I speak life to you right now. You shall not die, but you shall live. I speak that those dead bones, the dead areas of your life, I'm making the confession. I must confess um, that you're going to live and not die. I must confess um, that you're not going to stay where you've been any longer, but it's a mighty shift in the things of God um, coming to you. Why do we make these confessions? Um, because God says, death and life are in the power and the tongue. Um, we can, by low, small boat, turn the whole ship, a large ship, by low, small, tiny piece on that ship. But this small piece upon our, in our mouths, which is the tongue, can bring destruction or it can bring blessings. 
It's as simple as that. That's why God says, guard it. Be mindful of the things that you're speaking. Be mindful of the things um, that you're releasing. Um, let me show you how the spiritual world operates. Daniel, uh, in the book of Daniel. Um, Daniel spoke and said, Lord, why are we still in this um, imprisonment? Why are we still in bondage? The words went to heaven. And if you know the story, 21 days, Daniel is fasting and praying. Um, but about time, the angel of the Lord got to him. He said, Daniel, the moment that you set your mouth to pray, your words was already received. But there was a blockage in the spirit um, to hold up the words, to hold up the message. No, God heard you. Um, the moment that you set your heart, your mind, and you released it, and you said, Lord, I need clarity, God heard you. Um, but it may be some things that's trying to hold up that which God has said. So if the enemy can get you to say, God, you don't care, you're not listening, you don't hear me. Mm -hmm. The enemy can get you to say, things are going to always be like this. If the enemy can get you to say, well, you know, my father died at an old age. I mean, at a um, young age. I guess I'm going to. I'm, I'm probably going to die too. Um, well, you know, it runs in our family. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know, it runs in our family. You, you, you got those people. You ever hear those people? And they see me always talk about. Well, you know, you know, you know, your, your your uncle suffered from that. You know, your mama had that problem. Yeah, I know, but that's not what I'm confessing. What I'm confessing of our body is strength empowerment. Oh, you you you, you know, you, your dad's bipolar. Uh, you probably got that too. No, no, I don't. I don't receive that. I want you to not receive words. Of destruction. Um, I don't have to uh, come at them sideways. I just say, nah, I don't receive that. I don't claim that. Oh, you being spiritual, too spiritual. Yes, I am, because I am spirit. I'm a king of the king. I'm a lord of the lord. I belong to the Lord God. And I speak that which he says for me to speak. And I say that which he says me. He said, remember the Lord Jesus said, he says, I only do what I see my father do. I only say what I hear my father say. I want you to have the mindset of Christ that I'm going to say what I hear the Lord says, the father says. I'm going to say what the word says about it. What's the word say about my case? He says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So I declare that no weapon against me shall prosper. He says, I'm the head and not the tail. And I declare that I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above only and not beneath. Hallelujah. is amazing when it works right but when it doesn't alright there we go are we here I must confess what is the things that you know in your life today that you need to make and make some changes in what are the things that you know that you're saying that hey I've been saying the wrong things too long in my life. I've been allowed people to speak the wrong things in my life. No, I don't claim it. I don't let, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't let nobody claim things all upon my children. I told a story before. Um, the teachers would say, well, um, we're going to have to keep them back. No, you're not keeping my child back or uh, their learning ability. Uh, no, what I did was went to the Lord. And I prayed and I said, Lord, I'm speaking over my child. 
uh, speaking into their minds. They will learn. Um, they will be educated. Uh, they will be uh, smart in the things um, that they need to do. Their writing, their arithmetic, um, whatever it is, they shall prosper. Uh, and understand, um, change happen, shifts happen. You understand? Uh, and they one one child, they was like, we don't understand this. This really doesn't happen this way. Um, we don't understand. They was on a low reading level. Now they're on top. Um, because I'm going to take control of the atmosphere. I'm going to take control of uh, the destiny. Of I want you to take control of your destiny. I want you to take control of the atmosphere in your home. I'm um, in your life. And I'm going to speak life and not death. I must speak blessings, not cursing. Uh, I'm going to speak the right thing. I'm going to speak as a king. Um, when a king decrees a thing, it shall be established. I want you to understand uh, that you have dominion. You have authority. You have power um, in your mouth. Like I said, the greatest thing is salvation. Um, it wasn't nothing we worked up. He said, believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. Uh, that right there, the empowerment of your words. Um, you didn't need anyone to come and give you a document to say you saved, uh, but you know that you are. Um, nobody can't tell you anything different. Nobody can persuade you. Um, that's the power of the words. I must confess these things over my life. I must confess these things into my life. Um, not what's not happening. What do you want to see happening? Um, um, sometimes I remember the Lord said it's not about what you're not saying, but what are you saying? You may be the people who you, you may not speak negative, but are you speaking something that's going to bring life? Are you speaking seeds or fruits that's about to manifest or you're not saying anything? Uh, are you saying that I am the head and not the tail? Are you saying that I see myself in victory? I see myself as a multi-multi-millionaire. I see myself um, I'm speaking wealth and wealth transformation in my family. Are you speaking? I see that my family are going far, that they will be educated. We will have college graduates. Uh, we will have business owners. We will have, we will own properties. Why? Because God says we shall own the good of the land. As you receive what God has says, now I confess it into the atmosphere and then I move forward. Um, you ever say, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. You ever say to yourself, oh, man, I'm hungry. I got a taste for. Uh, and, and you speak what you have a taste for. And then you find yourself making your way to the kitchen to get that. Or you find yourself getting in your car to go, to go get that meal. I want you to say what you want to go get. I want you to have that confession. Say, I got a taste for abundance of God's presence in my life. I got a taste uh, for uh, the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I want you to say, I want you to speak in the atmosphere what you have a taste for in this season. Uh, deliverance is yours. Healing is yours. It's already yours and it belongs to you. confession. I must confess. I want you to have that in your spirit. What you must confess. Um, some things you're going to have to unroot and uh, unroot up. Uh, um, some things that you put in the atmosphere for years. Um, um, some of you have spoken some hatred. You got to uproot that. No, we don't walk in hate. We walk in love. He, the Bible says, how can you uh, love God who you don't see and hate your brother. No. Uh, yeah, they, they, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen. Glory to God. I hear this. Uh, um, that individual may be a hot mess, but you still speak blessings in their life. Do you hear me? heart. You say, Lord, I forgive so-and-so. And I speak that, Lord God, there's a change in their life. I speak that alcohol no longer has an effect on them. Yep, that person who even was laying their hands on you, Lord, the demonic force 
or whatever that is. It might have been passed out. Uh, Lord, I don't know, but I'm putting up, casting it under to you. Um, I'm letting it go. Lord, save them. Because hell's not made for any of us. I don't care. I, I know it's some individuals that you probably say, no, nah, they probably need to go. No. Um, but I walk in love. Um, God says that none should perish. Um, let them make that confession. I intercede for those. I pray for my enemies. I pray for those who um, wrongfully misuse me and treat me. Why? Because that dumps a, a hot coals upon their head. Um, the Bible says, vengeance is mine. I will repay. You don't have to get revenge. Um, um, the best way uh, to come and combat against what has been done to you is get that heart that says, Lord, I give it unto you. As I said yesterday, He's faithful and just to cleanse us from our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So for someone today who needs to hear this and say, Lord, I forgive them. Mm -hmm. And I pray that whatever has bound them up, whatever things is operating, that wickedness, Lord God, deliver them, heal them, set them free. It can be your mother. It can be an aunt. It can be an ex-husband, an ex-wife, whatever it is. No, you have death and life and the power of the tongue. And as you do to others, God does to you. Lord, be merciful unto them. They didn't do me right. And the Lord hears that from his son and daughter and said, Now you have the mind of Christ. Now you have the heart of Christ. And now we're going to shift the atmosphere because nothing's holding you up any longer. Some of you have to release that right now. Uh, release the pain. Release the thing that has happened. And as you release that thing, watch the change. The enemy was using that to ploy to keep you hindered and restricted. Uh, because the Bible says, he says, um, when you pray, believe you receive. And you pray, forgive that your Father, which is in heaven, may also forgive you. Um, don't let your prayers be entangled and sneered and snatched because you have unforgiveness in your life. Are we there? I don't want you to have unforgiveness in your life because your prayers can be hindered and restricted. I must confess, Lord, I know where I've fell short at. I must confess, Lord, I know where I have been off at, and I want to come back in line. Now I'm making that confess. I must confess these things and let them go. I, the tears and the pain, uh, the things that they've done, I'm, 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 I'm confessing that, Lord, I know I have been not right uh, with myself. I know I have been right with others. I know I have done wrong to others, and others have done wrong to me, you yeah? know? As I make that confession, now I'm going to uproot things. I said, Lord, I was holding on um, and claiming that it was my sickness, but that's not my portion. I've been claiming on uh, of, of these bills. It's always something. I've been saying these things. It's always something. Um, no, if I'm going to be, if it's always going to be something, it's going to be the blessings of the Lord. Lord, I'm always blessed. Lord, I'm always in your presence. Lord, I'm always uh, receiving good news. Lord, I'm always uh, receiving checks in the mail. It's, Lord, it seems like goodness and mercy is following me all the days of my life. I'm making that confession. I'm making that confession. And some of you, you're going to shift the way that you've been saying things. Uh, yeah, you see it. You know it. Uh, those are facts, but what's the truth? God says operate in truth, not facts. Uh, we're not denying the facts of certain things are going on. But what's the truth? We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Um, we overcome. Because we're more than overcomers. That we are conquerors. That we are redeemed. Um, he said the, the Bible says, let the redeem of the Lord say so. Are you saying that you're redeemed? 
Or are you saying that you're condemned? Are you saying that you're forgiven? Or are you saying that you are still trapped in that place of unforgiveness? No. Say it. Say, I am redeemed. I am forgiven. I no longer walk under condemnation. You no longer are held bound by the things of years ago. I must confess. Death and life and the power of the tongue. And I want you to get the mindset of what you want to see to manifest. We we confess salvation and we receive it. Um, what do you want to receive from the Lord? Not what's going on in your home. Not what's going on in your body. Not what's going on at the workplace or in your business. I'm making a shift. Everything that was created was created through the words of the Lord. And God placed everything. And God said it was good. And God said, let there be. And it was. And God said, let it be. And it was. I want you to have a mindset that you're going to call those things that you want to be. You're going to uproot that which doesn't need to be in your life. Where is those areas? Is it sickness? We uproot it. Is it poverty in the same cycle? No, you're doing what you need to do. Of uh, Something's blocking you. Um, you're trying to find a job. And it seems like you get a job, but you can't keep a job. You try to do the right thing and things. No. And then you start speaking, man, I'm tired. Lord, I'm just doing the same thing. And the same results are happening. Now I want you to make the confession. Lord, going forth, I'm receiving that which rightfully belongs to me. I speak that I have a job to go to. I speak that my home is at peace. We're already praying. I speak over my life and over my children's life that there is now life. Lord God, these cycles that's been going on, I reject them. The cycles of just barely having enough to get us through. No. Lord God, I speak that we have more than enough. Uh, Lord God, of always coming around the wrong people and the wrong, what I think were friends. No, I reject that cycle of bad men and women coming in my life. Father, I'm speaking that my eyes will be open, my ears will be open. I will discern and know who I need to have around me. Father, I'm speaking life upon my family. I'm speaking life and saying, I will not speak divorce any longer. I'm speaking life that I won't speak sickness any longer. That's not my portion. I'm speaking life amongst my children. Lord, I understand that uh, my mom went through certain things. My father went through certain things. My grandfather went through certain things. But that's not my portion any longer. I'm speaking um, that the buck stops here. Lord God, that right now these patterns are stopping in my life. I'm speaking, Lord God, the goodness of the Lord right now. I'm speaking. Um, that it will be no premature deaths. The Lord God with long life will you satisfy us. And Lord God, I'm thinking that this generation will be a generation that knows you. I'm speaking salvation unto my home. And that my children's children will know the Lord. I'm, I'm speaking to the third, fourth generation if you tarry, Lord God. That, that our family will be saved, sanctified. I'm speaking to, Lord God, the one who rejected me. The the woman who rejected me, the man who rejected me. Lord, I'm praying even for them. I'm praying for those who've hurt me. I'm praying, Lord God, that you touch their hearts and mind. Lord God, whatever spirit, uh, Lord God, was attached to them. Lord God, I walk in forgiveness right now. Lord God, I ask for salvation 
touch their hearts, touch their minds, Lord God. Bring peace, whatever addictions they're facing, Lord God, it will be uplifted. I'm speaking any addictions in our bloodline that has been plaguing us, Father. I make the confession no longer will it have any stronghold. I come against alcohol, I come against drugs, I come against pornography and perversion. I come against, Lord God, slothfulness and laziness and procrastination. I come against it and I speak, Lord God, that we are diligent, that we are vibrant, that we're about the Father's business, Lord God, that we have a, a kindle a fire and zeal in our life. Father, no longer will these things be plaguing in our life. We're coming into a new place of achieving that which we're supposed to. Father, I speak promotions. I speak elevations um, in the spirit that, Lord God, we have uh, uh, desires for the word of God. I'm speaking promotion that their names will be known as you said in your word that you will make our name great. I thank you that we're connected to the name that's above all name and we have that name to operate in. Lord, I'm speaking against any demonic forces and spirits that we have opened up and doors that we have opened up that these things be uprooted, uplifted and moved to the outermost darkness. Therefore, as the words that we're uprooting now, if we spoke poverty, if we spoke massive, we spoke it always something that we claim of uh, sickness. I speak right now that no longer is that our portion. We uproot it and change it. I speak that my body is whole, that my body is strong. I'm speaking um, to the blood cells, that the blood is flowing the way it needs to flow. I'm speaking into my liver and my, to my kidney um, that is functioning the way that you've designed. I'm speaking to my heart. I don't have that old heart, Lord God, that's not operating in the way it's supposed to. But I'm speaking wholeness upon my heart. I'm speaking to that to that noise, the popping in someone's ear, um, that that thing is being uplifted right now. I'm speaking that the eyes will be clear. I'm speaking health, um, not death. I'm speaking life. And any cancerous cell shall be uprooted. As they are under the sound of my voice, I speak a boldness to go forth. That spirit of fear is uplifted. The spirit of almost <laughs> is uplifted. No longer will it almost, but it will go all the way through. They will achieve everything that you have called them to. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, I confess that they're about to live their best life. I confess that they are the righteousness of Christ and their sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. No longer have you have to hold on to the past. You've been set free. In Jesus' name, amen. I must confess. Make the right confession. Make the right confession. Amen. Now we have had some devotion. We have prayed. If you need touched on something. You say, man of God, can you be in agreement with me on something or I need help with something um, for the next few minutes? Any um, comments, anything that you need, type it in there and let's see what we can do, what the Lord wants to do. Um, thank you for those who are sharing. Thank you for those who are leaving their hearts. Get their hearts up for me. Thank you for the share. Thank you for joining in. 